we have to discuss is the Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. This was amended in the year of 1991. So the rating of schedule one to five in accordance with the risk of wildlife fauna and listed in them. So if you look at this Wildlife Protection Act of 1972, so the, it is having total five schedule, schedule one, two, three, four, and five. And it is having all the wildlife included there, including the fauna. So animals included in schedule are provided for the total protection from hunting, trade, and commerce. So all the enlisted animal under the Wildlife Protection Act are totally protected by the government. Here, the schedule six, so here you can ask that we have only schedule one to five. So from where the schedule six is coming? So when the schedule six has been added and included in this particular Wildlife Protection Act, especially for the specified plant species, to be protected by the Wildlife Protection Act that was amended in the year of 1991. So what you have to remember here, you have to remember all the years of release of all the laws or Protection Act and their particular amendment act. What I will recommend you, so whenever we are going further and further in this particular unit, so what you have to do, you have to make a list of all the laws or acts there a particular establishment year and then their amendment year. So make a list there and remember it all of it. So by that way, any question if you're getting from the year, you can easily answer it. So this schedule one to five earlier we have in the 1972. In the year 1991, another schedule is added there. That is the schedule six. What is in the schedule six? Schedule six is only having the plants, plant species. And those plant species, to be protected by the Wildlife Protection Act of the 1991. So no person prohibition of the hunting is also provided in the act here. So no person shall hunt any wild animal specified in the schedule one to four. Only except animal provided under section 11 and 12, which are allowed to be hunted. So here all one to four. So category number one and two, then three, and IV is the fourth category here. V is the fifth category, V is the sixth category. So all the animals which are under the one, two, three, four category are not, cannot be hunted. These are totally prohibited. And there is a list of the venom animals, vermin animals. These vermin animals are, have the permission to hunt. In the vermin animals, those animals are included, which are very abundant in nature. And these are, in the excess population harming the nature. So for example, the mice, mouse, bats, these all things are allowed to be hunted. These are under the category of vermin animal, which are provided under the section 11 and section 12 of this particular schedule. With the amendment in the act in 1991, power of the state government has been withdrawn almost totally. Now state government not empowered to declare any wildlife animal species as vermin, because in this particular act, this is only having the list of vermin animals. Now the state government cannot decide that this animal in our state, I am declaring it as a vermin animal. Any man can, any, but he can hunt it. So that is not allowed to the state government now. The vermin animal list is already enlisted there and only those are the vermin animals. The state governments cannot do anything about that. Other, all animals are totally prohibited to hunt, to be hunted, you can say. Here you can see schedule one to four is having a list of wild animals. The schedule five is having the list of the vermin animals which are allowed to be hunted. Schedule six is having the number of the plant species that we have already discussed. And under this section 11, hunting of the wild animals permitted in the certain area. So that is again governed by the chief wildlife warden. Without the permission of that, nothing is possible there to hunt the wild animals. Then section 12, grant of permit for the special purpose hunting. The special purpose hunting can be hunting by the, hunting for the education purpose, specimen purpose, or anything that would be grant of permit for the special purpose under the section 12. Then we have the permission needed, as I have told you, under the section 11 and 12 by the chief wildlife warden only. So that chief wildlife warden can give you permission for this particular hunting. 
have any special purposes listed there like education purpose medical purpose or maybe specimen purpose then only like education scientific research population management collection of these specimens only in these categories permission can be provided and photography tourism scientific research education in this century so that is again uh, can be done with the permission of the chief wildlife warden so these all things are not harming the century because hunting is not enlisted here these can be directly uh, provided permission by the chief wildlife warden so i hope this is clear to you this is the list of the main elements that you can find out under the different schedules of this wildlife protection act so schedule one of this having the lion tailed mosaic that makake makake means that is the kind of a uh, monkey so lion tail makake is there rhinoceros is there great indian bustard black buck these are the few animals under the schedule one which are extremely prohibited for the hunting hunting is totally not allowed these are the endangered species then we have the schedule two like rhesus makake that is again a kind of monkey atbole king cobra flying squirrel himalayan brown brown bear these all are under the schedule two so and listed in you know, the animals listed in the schedule 1 and schedule 2 part 2 of the schedule 2 have absolute protection even for the specimen education or anything these schedule 1 schedule 2 animals are not allowed to be hunted by any mean especially if there is not a very very peculiar specific region for the protection of themselves only these are the most protected animals you can see then we have the schedule 3 we have the hyena hog deer neel gai goral sponges barking deer etc and these are also prohibited then schedule 4 we have the mongoose and vulture etc these are also got some protection by the um, this particular act only chief life warden can permit for the hunting of these things then schedule 5 vermin these are the animals which can be hunted for example mice rat common crow flying fox the fruit eating bats these are only allowed to be hunted in the a uh, forest area under the wildlife protection act of 1972 so again i am telling you the examples i have given here these are only few examples the list is very very large and we cannot remember it so few main examples you can remember that's all then schedule 6 is having cultivation collection extraction trade etc of the plants and its derivative listed in the schedule 6 for example red wanda blue wanda put then we have pitcher plant bed domes cycad lady slipper orchid and the list of plants listed in schedule 6 these are all getting protection from the schedule 6 of the environmental protection act 1972 and under this wildlife protection act we have the multiple Uh, centuries and the national parks which are conserved under the wildlife protection act of 1972 so here we have five conservation areas that you can see centuries then we have national parks then we have conservation reserves then we have community reserves and last one is the tiger reserves so if you look at the number of centuries in india so this was the number when i have prepared this particular slide but now this number has been increased to 565 so what do you have to do find out the list of the centuries of india i am not saying to remembering that all list just remember the last two or three two or three recent centuries that has been recently formed so that you have to only remember the recent centuries because from the recent centuries they can ask you question in the examination so remember that and if you look at the national parks number this has been increased now to 106 so this is when you are watching the video again i am telling you what you have to do you have to find out the list what is the exact number right now when you are preparing and then the recent number recent uh national parks which is recently developed that you have to find out and you have to remember the name of that national park and the state so if you look at the uh 116th national parks right now that is the rayamona national park newest national park that is assam situated in assam and this was added in india's 106th national park on june 5 that is 
environmental day of 2021 on that day this was declared so currently we have 565 sanctuaries and 106 national parks the number of conservation reserves community reserves tiger reserves um, the, these two are not required the tiger reserves we will see in the upcoming slide this is all about the five type of protected areas which all these areas are under the wildlife protection act of 1972 which was amended in the year of 1991 so I hope this is clear to you. And under this Wildlife Protection Act, there are a few definitions provided. The very first definition here is the animal. This animal includes the amphibious mammals, birds, reptiles, and their young one. Eggs are also included in the case of birds and reptiles. And what is the meaning of hunting or definition of hunting? It includes the capturing the animal, killing the animal, poisoning the animal, trapping any wildlife animal, that all is the hunting. Injuring, destroying, or taking any part of such animal in the case of wild birds and reptiles, disturbing and damaging eggs or nests of such birds and reptiles would be also under the category of hunting. And there is a term taxidermy, which is also defined in the Wildlife Protection Act 1972. So what is the taxidermy? If you have seen the older uh, king, king palaces or kingdom palaces, you can find out there is a very, uh, in those uh, king, kingdom areas or the king houses, the older kings generally have the uh, animal parts as a decoration in their particular home. For example, the horns or the tooth of the element, elephant, and then maybe the skin of the tiger or maybe lion. So those all is very, now those, those all the things are very prohibited, but earlier this thing was done. And that thing is called as taxidermy, means furring, preservation, and preparation of trophies, trophy part of animal like skin, horns, etc. in the house. That particular phenomena is called as taxidermy. So that is now banned, but earlier this was very popular. Then what is the definition of wildlife? So this includes any animal, bees, butterfly, pests, moth, and aquatic of land vegetation, which forms part of any habitat, that is the wildlife. And vermin, any wild animal species in the schedule five listed is the called as vermin animal. And then amendment, which was done in the year of 1991, Jews and zoological gardens are included under this act. Then hunting completely prohibited and protection of certain plants is included right to the tribals, the local peoples of the forest included in this particular act and this amendment and encouraging and assisting formation of wildlife societies was also included in this particular amendment. Another amendment was done in the year of 2006 that was a minor amendment to protect and conserve tiger and the other endangered species. Few more things are included in this amendment of 2006. So that was all about the Wildlife Protection Act of the 1972. Act was established in the year 1972. Two amendments done, one in the year 1991, another amendment for the Tiger Preservation in the year 2006 was still now done. And that all about the Wildlife Protection Act the detail. So I hope this is clear to you. And this is all about the today's class as well. And here we can end the class from uh, the next class tomorrow, we will again move ahead in this particular unit. So few more acts and all the details we will discuss in this chapter. Maybe two more classes and this chapter can we can completely finish. And then we will do the statistics and few miscellaneous topics and the whole syllabus would be covered. So I hope you enjoyed the lecture. That's all about the today's class. Meet you in the next class. Thank you.